In this video, we're sewing and drafting this super easy and straightforward t-shirt so that way you can make lots and lots for this upcoming summer. And what makes it simple and easy is that it only has two pattern pieces, the front and the back, and the sleeve is one pattern piece with the front. So that way, it makes for an easy make, easy drafting. If I can do it, you can do it, so let's get started. You're watching Easy Sewing DIY, a weekly series where I make a simple pattern, then I sew it and love it. Everything is straightforward so you can make it as well. Tune in for new episodes every weekend. And what makes it even easier is that we're gonna use our one hour simple top pattern that we made last week using our own measurements, not complicated at all. So if this is your first time here, don't you worry, I will leave this original video at the end of this one so that way you can find it without a problem and follow along all the other tutorials that are here on this channel based on this top. So you're gonna grab your one hour simple top and we're only gonna do three adjustments to it. We're gonna adjust the neckline, we're gonna drop the shoulder, and we're gonna cinch in the E so that way it's nice and fitted around our torso. And well, the fourth adjustment is we're gonna curve the hemline. That's it, easy peasy, you will be done in no time. Since we're using one hour top as a base, first let's trace that onto a fresh piece of paper. Now transfer the markings for the bust line and waistline and mark the pattern all around. And please note we'll be doing just one pattern piece for both, the front and the back. So that way you will only need to trace it once. Now let me outline this in bright pink a little bit so that way you can see better. Now I have drafted my adjustments here in pencil so let me show you what I did. For the first step I dropped the shoulder line by two and a half inches to create that dolman sleeve for our t-shirt. Then I curve in the body of the pattern to create a form-fitting shape. When you sew with stretch fabrics your ease can be very minimal and sometimes actually even negative to really hug the figure. And I'm not doing or taking any ease at this point at all, and I am just curving the side seam line according to the true measurements of my waist and hips. Now that will also bring the side seam a little bit lower, uh, by about an inch, since we have to account for the sleeve cuff adding a little bit of length to the bottom of the sleeve. Now let's curve in the shoulder just by a tiny bit to create that organic shape. Here I'm going to bring down the front neckline by about an inch and a half for it to really look like a t-shirt and let me outline the new pattern in green so you can see the difference between what we started with and now what we're ending with. In the process I realized that I did not curve the hem at all so that's what I'm doing here right now. And when you're ready, just cut your pattern out and remember that we did not add any seam allowances. So if you like to mark your seam allowances on a pattern, then do that first and then cut it out. All right, are you ready to cut into fabric? Let's cut two pieces out of your stretch fabric, the front and the back. And I'm using here this abstract stretch cotton blend from Fabric Mart. And once pieces are cut, I adjusted the neckline one more time and then just put the pattern right sides together and sew the side seams and shoulder seams. And this is what it looks like halfway through. Now let's attach a neckband. For that I'm using some gray cotton knit jersey from Joann's and I never really use any formulas for my neckbands. I just judge how stretchy is the fabric and then always cut your band smaller than the neckline. But I will leave some useful materials for you guys in the info box underneath the video in case you're just not too sure about it. Now notch the center back and center front so that way the neckline is even and stretched out evenly as you sew. I am using my serger here but you can use a sewing machine without a problem. I've done that for many years using a zigzag stitch, a stretch stitch, so it definitely is not a problem at all. So don't feel intimidated by me using a serger here. Just use whatever you have. Alrighty, the neckline is ready, now on to the cuffs. You can do it in the same way you did the neckline for a standard sleeve band, or you can just fold it over and hem, or you can do what I'm doing here, a really simple rolled cuff. Um, it's a ready to wear technique that looks really nice and great. And I will leave a full three minute tutorial underneath the video for those who are interested. It's really super simple and I really like the outcome.
Now you just have to hem the t-shirt and it's ready to be worn and loved. It was really super simple and straightforward and I hope you make lots and lots and lots of these. Now here's the video on how to draft a simple one hour top that we used as a base in this video. Click and watch and thank you so much for watching. Happy sewing!